Hi, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on the time that you are watching me. Okay, fifth grade, we will start our class by correcting your activity book, okay? So please open up your activity book to pages number 24 and 25. We will correct first the story part and then the pronunciation, okay? Please pay attention, write everything you can and follow me. Come here. Yes, this is the moment we correct the homework. We will correct activity book pages number 24 and 25, as I told you before. Let's see, question number 11, read and match. Look, we've got number one, stop at the traffic lights. Two, turn left at the museum and go straight ahead. Three, can we have the net, please? And four, I know, follow me. Four is already used. Here, in the story, you will put only the numbers, okay? So, letter B. Be careful, everyone. What did Lucas say? Stop at the traffic lights, number one, okay? Stop at the traffic lights. Uh, letter C. Excuse me, how do you get to the park? And then, number two, turn left at the museum and go straight ahead. Great. And last but not least, here, what did Lucas say? Number three represents, can we have the net, please? It's for the adventure playground. So, okay. So, the sequence is four one two three yeah now let's write yes or no mm -hmm. in the story the museum is near the park yes tom knows where harton is tom knows where harton is huh yes he knows he says hey i know Follow me, so he knows. It's safe to stop at the traffic lights. Yes or no? Of course it's safe. You must stop at the traffic lights, okay? Pay attention to the traffic. Four, they turn right at the museum. They turn right at the museum or they turn left at the museum? So they don't turn right at the museum. It's no, a big no. They get a net at the park. Hmm? Yes, they get the net. Perfect. Now, page number 25. Yes. Look, at, look and take the pictures that show the value cycle safely. Hmm? Number one, cycle safely, is letter A or letter B? Letter B, because she's respecting the traffic light and she's respecting the zebra crossing. Two, A or B? A, because she's holding her bike. She's not woo, like this boy. No, no, no. Number three, A or B? Of course, it's letter A. She's not in the sidewalk, she is on the streets. Pause for Portuguese. É muito importante isso, gente. Até um dia desses, eu não conhecia essa regra de trânsito. E como vocês sabem, eu ando bastante de bicicleta por aqui, para ir para o trabalho, para voltar, eu gosto muito. E aí, é, eu achava que eu tinha que andar na calçada com a bicicleta. Eu achava, ah, então a gente tem que andar na calçada. Só que falaram assim, não, Rafa, você deve andar na rua. É na rua ou na ciclovia. Então, quando não tiver ciclovia, você deve andar na rua, não na calçada. Claro, se for uma calçada pequena, assim, que você precisar passar por ela, emergência, 
Ok, mas o ideal, você deve andar de bicicleta no próprio asfalto, lá onde os carros passam, tá? Então, às vezes eu penso, eita, será que o pessoal vai achar aqui que eu sou a, a, a doidona da bike aqui no meio? Mas eu tô seguindo as regras. Então, a gente tem que ter isso na cabeça. O próprio Detran, o próprio, próprio Departamento... Deta, deta, eu ia falar a palavra departamento, saiu uma coisa completamente diferente. O próprio Departamento de Trânsito recomenda. Eles, na verdade, é uma regra. Os ciclistas devem andar ou na ciclovia ou na rua, no asfalto tomando todos os cuidados, ok? So, it's not letter B, it's letter A, great. And color the words that sound like surf, huh? Girl, yes, surf, girl. Purple, surf. Burger, surf. Curly, surf. Circle, surf. Shirt, surf. Bird, surf. And what is it? It's a turtle. Okay? Er, turtle. All right. This is good. Perfect. Now we will do something that you love. Follow me. And now this is the moment that everybody was waiting. It's... <laughs> I tried to, to make a surprise, but oh, I just can't do it. It's just too much for me. I'm going to be normal, okay? <laughs> And this is the moment that we were all waiting for. This is... Guess what time? Yes! This is guess what? Come and see... Guess what? Come and play. Guess what? It's time to learn today, okay? And the guess what is on your pupils book, page, pages number 32 and 33. And the title is, What 3D Shapes Can You See? Yes, for example, this is a circle, right? This is a triangle. This is a square. But they are all 2D. I can see only two dimensions. Dimensions. Circle, triangle, and a square. But when I show you when I show you this. This is not 2D anymore. This is 3D. Yes, this is a 3D shape. It's a sphere. A ball is a sphere. And we've got plenty of others 3D shapes. And we will see this in this video. Play it. I'm still here, okay? Yes. On page number 32 of your pupils book, you see, you read, what 3D shapes can you see? Look at all these buildings. Wow, it, they are amazing. I don't know exactly where they are from. Let me, let me check. Yes, so these buildings are in Shanghai, in China. Look at all, look at this architecture. Art, architect, architect, architect. Parece quando eu falo departamento. Architecture, oh yeah. Look at these amazing buildings. And here we can see lots, lots of 3D shapes. Uh -huh. Do you know what are some... 3D shapes that we have. Let's look and repeat, please. Repeat, okay? 3D shapes. Pupils book, page 33. What 3D shapes can you see? 1. Listen and repeat. 1. Sphere. Sphere. 2. 
cylinder. 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 Three. Cone. Cone. Four. Cube. Cube. Five. Pyramid. Pyramid. Probably you have seen 3D shapes in your maths class, in your geometry class. Yeah, so here in English, we also have this opportunity to study 3D shapes. Now, let's watch the video. Mm -hmm. I know that you love this video. And I already can see some different 3D shapes. Let's watch in 3, 2, 1. Guess what? Come and see. Guess what? Come and play. Guess what? It's time to learn today. Guess what? Hello again. Welcome back to Guess What? Today, we're asking, what 3D shapes can you see? Let's find out. These are 3D shapes. We can see many 3D shapes in towns. Sphere. This ball is a 3D shape. It's a sphere. These children are playing in a sphere. Oh, nice. Look at this sculpture. It's a very big sphere. <laughs> and this big sculpture is also a sphere. Cylinder. Cylinder. This piece of wood is a 3D shape. It's a cylinder. These two buildings are cylinders. Look at this factory. Can you see the four cylinders? This is bamboo. Each piece of bamboo is a cylinder. This building has got two 3D shapes. Can you see spheres and cylinders? Spheres and cylinders. Cone. This roof is a 3D shape. It's a cone. Can you see the cones on these houses? Wow. Look at this teepee. Mm, a teepee. It's a cone. And look at this girl. She's skating between some cones. Wow. Cube. <laughs> this sculpture is a 3D shape. It's a cube. Look, there's a white cube on this building. Cube. The head of this sculpture <laughs> is a cube. And this sculpture is a very big cube. Pyramid. This stone sculpture is a 3D shape. It's a pyramid. Look at this building. It's a glass pyramid. And this tall building is also a pyramid. This famous old pyramid is in North America. What do you know? What 3D shapes can you see? I can see a sphere. I can see 
A cylinder? Cylinder? I can see a cone. Mmm, interesting. Well done. See you next time on Guess What? Bye! Bye! Guess What? <laughs> nice! Okay, now that you are aware of the existence of such shapes, Look, what shapes can you see? We've got number one, two, three, four, and five. And one, two, three, four, and five. Let's look. This building is a pyramid shape with glass squares. One, two, three, four, or five. Number three, okay, is the Louvre, Louvre Museum on France, on France, okay, France, on France, the word France is in French, French in English, France in English is France, estou misturando as línguas aqui, gente, France é França em francês, and France é França em inglês, France. So it's a museum in France. Two, this building is a cube shape. Cube shape. Number two, yes, it's a cube shape. This building, this building has cylinders at the front. Cylinders at the front. Number four, look at these cylinders. It's like a... a castle from Rome, it's a historical place from Rome, I believe. This building is a cone shape, cone. Number five, yes, number five, it looks like a bee heave. Uh -huh. And this building has a glass sphere on top, glass sphere, sphere on top. Yeah, so 3D shapes we usually can see them in constructions or in sculptures, yes? It's present all around us, right? Now, I want to have a serious conversation with you. Serious conversation. And after the video, it's time to explain your homework. You've got a two-page homework on your activity book, pages number 26 and 27. On page number 26, read and match. You will read the descriptions and match the pictures. Number two, draw. You will draw 3D shapes. You will read number one and draw. Number two, draw. Number three, draw. Pay attention to the descriptions, okay? Another page, it's page number 27. Evaluation. One, look and complete the questions and answers. You will look at this city and complete this answers with the prepositions next to, below, above, opposite, okay? It's up to you. Not only up to you, it's up to what you find out here. Number two, as you know, complete the sentences about this unit. After unit two, I can talk about, I can write about, my favorite part is, number three, Guess what it is? You stop when it's red, you go when it's green. What is it? You have to write the name. Go to page number 93. Yes, page number 93. And on space number two, you have to write the word. Simple and clear as a night with a super moon, <laughs> okay? That's all, that's it. 
I hope you're feeling great because I am. And as you know, I miss you, but I will see you soon and you will see me in the next video. Bye-bye.